So the anti-malarian hormone, AMH, is a hormone produced by the granulosa cells around the preantral follicles in the ovaries. When you go through the menopause and have no preantral follicles left, the granulosa cells stop producing AMH. So a woman's, during a woman's lifetime, from puberty through to the menopause, she'll produce AMH all the time at different levels according to her age and how many antral follicles she has left. So for this reason, we can create charts of what is the normal range for each age group. So if you have an AMH that is well above the normal range for your age group, then maybe you have something called polycystic ovaries. If, however, you have an AMH that is much lower than, than the normal range for your age group, then maybe you have what we call a reduced ovarian reserve. And if you are in the normal range for your age, then you should be able to respond to ovarian stimulation in the same way as a woman of your own age, which means that if you're 25, you're probably going to respond very well. But if you're 40, you may not respond so well, but that's normal for 40 year olds. So AMH gives you a guide as to your ovarian reserve according to your age. It can vary a little bit according to your race. We did a study of, of Spanish women a few years ago and found that the average AMH level in Spanish women was found to be a bit higher than other European populations, but seemed to be lower than the Asian populations. <laughs>